Hey guys, Technivers here. Today we are going to be finally pushing a bootloader to the Ender 3 so we can utilize the full height capacity of the mod that Corian was nice enough to send to us. And on that note, I also owe a thank you to Michael from over on Michael's Workshop. It's another channel here on YouTube. He's got a few subscribers, but all his videos are private, so not sure what's going on there, but uh, it was very generous of him. He got in contact with me when he found out that my Arduino Mega uh, wasn't working for pushing the bootloader, and he said that he had a bunch of extra AVR ISP Mark IIs laying around, and he was kind enough to send me one. So this is a in-serial programmer. As you can see, it has the six-pin connector already attached. So this will go right into the, the six-pin slot on the Ender 3, and then this end will plug into my slicer and I'll be able to, or excuse me, into the Arduino and I'll be able to push onto the Ender 3. So we're gonna do that right now, but I just wanted to tell Michael thank you real quick. Um, the next video you'll see today will be the actual assembly of the uh, extension mod. I've simply been waiting to put that video up to test it because we need to make an update to the firmware, which is why we need to push the bootloader. So let's get into this right now and turn this guy upside down, pull the bottom off, and get to work. So, now that we have our in-serial programmer and we have our Ender 3 all built, we need to do the actual push, and the firmware we're gonna be using is a copy of TH3D Studio's uh, unified firmware package. So, we need to download that, and to do that, I will put a link down below. We are gonna jump over to this website, which is having a hard time loading right now, but fortunately, I actually already downloaded this a while ago. Uh, so, we're gonna open firmware for Windows here. Hit run. No, I went to the wrong one. Oh, yep, there it goes, it's loading. So give me just a second to pop this open and we'll be right back. All right, Arduino has finally opened up here. And I have taken the bottom off of my Ender 3. Now this is an Ender 3 Pro, so you get to the internal components from the bottom. There are three screws. They're gonna be these two here and here. And then on the other side, there is one long screw that you will have to pull the bed forward to get at and remove in order to completely drop the panel. Once that's done, we are simply going to take our in-serial programmer and attach it to Serial output on the board here. Just make sure it's oriented the right way. All right, so now before we go any further, we had to install the driver. Um, and you want to make sure that under your devices and device manager that it is showing up under WinUSB and not under other devices. So uh, if it is under other devices, you're going to have to find the driver and download it. I can put a link down below. Make sure you follow the instructions for turning off the driver signature protection. You're gonna to need to restart your computer and it will temporarily turn off that signature detection in order to be able to install the driver. Once that's done, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna hit burn bootloader and you can see it running. It says AVR dude done, thank you. And now that we push the bootloader, it's time for the final test. What we're going to do is plug right into the Ender 3, and we should now be able to push and pull firmware. As you can see, I have COM port 4 here. And if we jump over to that, that is our Ender 3. So we are good to go. We're all hooked up. The bootloader is on the main board of the Ender 3, and we can update the firmware. We're not going to do that in this video. We're going to make some adjustments to it in the next video when we go over the 500 millimeter height upgrade. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to, like I said, if you have problems with the driver installation, make sure you follow those instructions for turning off the driver signature protection. The first process in the list will only turn it off temporarily. So the next time you restart your computer, it will be on again to prevent invalid drivers from being installed. So I hope this was helpful to you guys and we'll see you in the next one. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous.
that's gonna be it for this video as always i am technivorous and thanks for watching don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month so far we've given away things like a capricorn ptfe tubing kit and spools of filament so the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page so all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.